Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here with another simple paracord tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to tie this, which is the Japanese bow knot. As you can see, it is a pretty cool looking, quite elegant knot. Uh, largely decorative in purpose, but does have a few practical applications, so I'll touch on that once we're done. This is what it's going to look like once we've tied it, and uh, without further ado, let's get into how you do it. It's uh, it's not super complex, but it might take you a couple of goes to get it. I'm going to go over it twice for you, and hopefully that'll that'll give you enough to to go do it yourself. So, uh, to demonstrate, I'm just going to use this uh, piece of paracord, a couple of feet in length. You don't need a huge amount of cord for this. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is find approximately the middle point in the cord, and uh, just create a single loop. So I'm going to loop uh, left side over right because my right hand is dominant. So uh, you may wish to do it in reverse if you're left-handed or try and stick with this just to keep things easier. I'm going to try and keep it up off the bench so it's a little easier for you to see but bear with me if I do mess it up slightly and have to gather up my cords. It's a little bit tricky to do in hand, easier on a surface. So grab your cords like that um, and you have the loop here which is basically going to form both sides of our bows. We're just going to pinch it in the middle like so. Uh, so flatten it down a little bit like that and then we're going to take our right cord which is coming over the top and we're just going to pull that up behind the loop like so and just try and pinch that loosely there if I can get a hold of it okay let's try and hold that in position uh, our left uh, end which is going behind our, our first circle we're going to bring up in front so you should have something that looks like so sorry it's a little bit difficult to keep hold of everything here um, so once we're up at the top here we're just going to cross these over. So you're going to take your one in front and go behind the other cord. So the one on the right is going over the top. The one on the left that came up in front is going behind. So you cross those over. And then we're just going to do the last move, which is to take the one on the right and we're going to come back over the top and we're going to make a little loop down here at the bottom of this. So we're going to come over the top and down through there pull that cord down towards us. Now as you can see as I pull it down we're already starting to form our bow. So the last move we need to do is take the one on the left which is currently on top. I'm going to go behind. Let me see if we made a little loop down here. And we're going to come up through that loop. Now, as we pull this down to the front or to towards us make sure that the loop you're tightening goes behind the left ear of the bow. Okay, you don't want that slipping out in front like that. You want to keep that behind there. Start to tighten that down. You should have something that looks like that. Okay, so just start to tighten that up. Uh, keep a hold of your two ends of your bow. Makes this a little bit easier. And just cinch everything down. I've not been too fussy about where my length comes out here because it's just for demonstration purposes, but you may wish to feed cord through so you have evenly uh, evenly long ends here. Just begin to cinch that down, keeping tension on the ends of the bow. Push that down. And once you get to this point, you should be able to just pull on both sides of the bow to tighten it up fully. And then you can pull those together just to make sure everything's nice and even. The ears of our bow are roughly even. And your knot should look like this. Lift up the original one we had there. You can see. And the reverse should look like that. Okay. So I'm just going to do that one more time. Let's put those down there. Grab ourselves another piece of cord. Okay, so we're going to loop, uh, make a loop roughly in the middle of our cord. And as we make the loop, we want our side coming from the left to be on top of the one coming from the right. See your overlap there. Pinch that roughly in the middle. We're going to take our right hand cord and, sorry my camera's having a bit of trouble focusing, let me move these over here and hopefully it'll pick up what I'm doing. There we go. And uh, so we're going to take our right hand cord, oops, try and keep this in focus for you. Take our right hand cord and come up behind, like so. And we're going to take our left hand working end and come up in front. So you should have something that looks something like that. If I can get a hold of my loop here. Oops. This one's even messier than the last one. Let me try and hang on to it this way for you. Okay. 
Okay, uh, should look like that. So you have a cross at the bottom there, you have the two ears of your bow already forming. So once we're up at the top here, we're just going to cross our working ends. So the one that's currently behind comes in front of the other one. Create a cross there. And the last two moves we need to do, let's make ourselves a little loop down here at the bottom. And we're going to bring our beast that's behind over in front on the right and down through that loop. Okay, feed that through, pull it towards you and again make sure this loop that you're tightening in front doesn't go behind that ear of the bow. Pull that down and you start to see the bow forming. Should look like that. Make ourselves a little bit of slack down here. And this left piece that's currently in front we're going to go behind the whole knot and come up through there. Now you can see the left side is trying to come in front. We're going to keep that behind while we tighten it. Keep a hold of the ears of your bow as well. Feed that down through. Things should look fairly symmetrical by this point. It's a little harder with this green cord because it's a little more uh, springy than the other two that I tied with. But you're, at this point your knot should look like so. You can even out. As you can see the top cord there, the top part of your bow is fully free sliding. So just try and keep that nice and even. Makes it a little easier to see what's going on. So the front of your knot should look like that. And the back should look like that. Feel free to pause this up and make sure everything's where it is. Or where it should be rather. And once you have that, just keep hold of both ears of your bow. And you can just basically push up on the middle, pulling out in these cords. Push that in from the sides until it all cinches up. Once you get it fairly tight, you can adjust your bow again. And then give it a final tighten up. Okay. So there we have it. And I'll show you that alongside one of these ones. This one's a little... Just this cord is a little uh, lower quality, I think, than the green one. And it's a little harder to get things cinched up nicely, but that is how it should look. When it's done. So, yeah, I mean, largely decorative knot, there's... You know, you could definitely use this in bracelet making for a clasp or... Um, even for some sort of lanyard knot, it just depends what you want to do. But there's a couple of practical applications. If you made that and you had a, uh, you wanted to make a tether onto a post or a ring or something, or a carabiner, just push the two loops together. And if you slide them over the object you're looking to tether to, you basically end up with a nice sort of double hitch on there. But you know it's nice and, you know, depending how big you make these, you get a loose loop, uh, so it still can be rotated you get a nice kind of double fixture at that point. Same way you could take a small carabiner for like a key ring or key clip and pop that through there and it just makes a bit more of a kind of an ornate finish to uh, like a dog leash or some sort of key lanyard or whatever. You could even put those like so and then bind a finer cord around here make yourself quite an ornate clasp and uh, yeah use it like that so few uses for this. It's just a fun knot to try. Uh, try it out. It takes a couple of goes to get usually, but once you get it, it's a very fun knot to tie. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions or you get stuck, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.